Good morning, everybody. This is Metro Jai. Do you want to wake up every morning to a completely smooth and wrinkle-free face? Well, today I wanted to show you a technique that does exactly that, and it has to do with these under-eye gel pads. Now, I just woke up a few minutes ago from an entire night's worth of wearing these under-eye gel pads, and when I remove them, you're going to see that my under-eye area is completely smooth and wrinkle-free smooth and wrinkle free. Now the technique is all about these under eye gel pads which I customized in a way to make them a very powerful wrinkle fighting tool. If you stick around I will show you exactly what you need to get to make these wrinkle fighting tools, what you need to do to them, how to put them on, and how to clean up when you take them off in the morning. So next I'm going to show you exactly what you need to get. Now I want to show you what you need to get, and most of these items you can get from Amazon. I will supply the links to the items in the description box. First you need to get the Dermagen Anti-Wrinkle Patches. Then you need to get the 70% isopropyl alcohol and a glass bowl. Porcelain will work too. As far as oils go, you need to get castor oil. Rosehip oil and coconut oil. For cleanup, you need to get Thayer's alcohol free toner. You can either get the lavender or the rose water oil, and you need some cotton patches. Okay, so that's what you need to get. Next, I'm going to show you what you need to do to the gel pads to make them a powerful wrinkle fighting tool. Okay, now we're going to condition the gel pads. Now the problem with the gel pads when they're new is that they are actually pretty sharp on the edges compared to your skin. So if you just took these gel pads and put them on their face as is out of the box, these will actually leave gouges in your face when you woke up in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 70% isopropyl alcohol and put it in a bowl put in about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and we're going to drop two new gel pads in the alcohol. And what this is going to do is soften up the edges so that when you wake up in the morning and peel these off, it's not going to leave those gouges in your face. So the pads that are in the alcohol now, we're going to let them sit for two hours. I'm going to come back in two hours and then show you what we need to do next. Okay, the gel pads have finished soaking in the alcohol for two hours, so it's time to fish it out. Now, this gel pad is softer than before it went in, and that is really the secret to this technique, is making a nice, soft gel pad. So, let's go ahead and put some soap on the pad, work it all in, rubbing it around, getting all the surface area nice and covered with soap, and then rinse off with water. Rinse, 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 rinse. Now, we just need to let the gel pad dry for about a day. And the way, we, the way we let it dry is by putting it back on the sheet that it came from. And now there's two sides to the gel pad. There's the side that tends to curl up, right? And that's the side that we want up when we put the gel pad on the sheet. So pay attention to that when you're putting the gel pad back on the sheet. Okay, now repeat that exact same process for the other gel pad that's still in the alcohol. And uh, once that's done, you need to wait about 24 hours before we can actually apply the gel pads to the face. And that will be the next step. We'll actually be showing you how to put the gel pads on the face. Time to apply the gel pads, but first we need to put on the oil. And we start out with castor oil, which is the most important oil because it's the thickest and it sticks the best to the skin. All right, so I put about two drops on there, on my fingers, and just dab it around my eyes. Okay. Then you grab your coconut oil, and you just use a little bit, maybe like half a drop. All right, I'll even scrape a little bit off, because you don't need very much. This oil is thinner than the castor oil. 
and you need to get the right consistency. Then we take our rosehip oil and just put on just like a half a pump. It's tough to get out. There we go, just half a pump. All right, work that between your fingers and then apply underneath your eyes. All right, now the trick is to get the right consistency. It'll take a few tries to get that down. Okay, now that you have your oil on your skin, you're gonna grab your gel pads, the conditioned ones, and just peel one off and just lightly, lightly apply it. And grab the other one. These are the soft condition gel pads, remember that. And then apply that on. And just kind of tap it around, tap it around. Okay, now your gel pads are set in with the oil and you're ready to either go to sleep or if you just want a quick freshen up, you can have these gel pads on for just a couple hours and then your skin will look nice and refreshed. Okay, then the next step will be to show you how to remove the gel pads and how to Okay, clean up. before we move on to removing and cleaning up the gel pads, I wanted to talk really quick about the oils we use and why we use them. Now, we use the castor oil, the coconut oil, and the rosehip seed oil. Um, and the reason why I use those is those are amongst the three best oils you can use to provide the healing properties that you need to uh, add nutrition into your skin and to moisturize, as well as to help keep the gel pads stuck to your skin. Okay, that being said, let's move on to removing the gel pads, and all you need to do is remove just like that, they come off really easily. Now remember, there's two sides. This is the skin side. This side of the gel pad will always be used on the skin. And this is the side that has all the oil on it. So when you remove them, keep in mind which side has the oil. And all you need to do is to use soap and water and just uh, rub, the, uh, rub the oil off and then put it back on the plastic sheet that they came from, skin side down, okay? And then to clean up the oil off your skin, I like to use this Thayer's alcohol-free toner. Remember, you can use, either use the lavender or you can use the rose flavor. And uh, all you gotta do is put some on, wipe off, and there you go. Wipe it off. You'll notice that you don't have any creases in your skin. Uh, all your fine lines and your wrinkling are completely gone and you'll get those benefits for I usually these benefits usually last for a good eight hours for me alright so yeah that's just how to remove and clean up um, the next video I'm actually going to show you just some hints and tips and some whatnots just so you can have a more uh, better idea of how this whole process okay, works. Okay, I wanted to give you just a few hints and tips and just general ideas on how to use these gel pads. Uh, probably the most important thing to realize is that the gel pads get better the more you use them. They will actually get softer and softer as you use them throughout the nights. Uh, but when you first use them, maybe for the first couple nights, You'll actually notice when you peel them off in the morning, there might be the slightest little indent around the edges of the gel pads, but those easily massage out within a couple minutes. Um, next, uh, you want to make sure you remember always which side is the skin side, because that's the side you're always going to apply to the, the area underneath your eyes. And uh, finally, the benefits, the way it works for me is after I peel them off, I will have a good eight hours where I am basically fine line and wrinkle free. Now, the more I use my facial expressions, the more those fine lines will tend to come back, but when they come back, they come back way less diminished. Um, so it has definite benefits throughout the day, and your skin will look better if you actually use them. In fact, I don't even use Retin-A anymore because for me, the gel pads offer better results than Retin-A and you don't have to worry about the irritation of Retin-A so I hope that works out for you I hope you find good results and yeah, keep staying young thank you